Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, March 22nd, 2021. If you'd like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And as you can see, we have fallen in today's trading session, and we're down minus 0.3%. So we did uh, pierce the 50 minute week average and then we rallied and our pull back and now we're right at the 40 exponential moving average. So we have been in this very tight range for uh, quite a long time now. We have not managed to break down and that usually is a bullish shine. We have been bouncing off the 50 moving average for several months now and uh, there is quite a lot of resistance underneath. Well, when that is said, all these technical indicators, they are bearish at this current stage. MACD is bearish, CSI is bearish, uh, the CCI is bearish, RSI is bearish, sorry, CCI is bearish, and uh, stochastic is crossing the signal line, also indicating bearish momentum. And we are way at the bottom here of the Bollinger Band. So at this current stage, if we break the 50 moving average, that could open the door to the 100 moving average at 1368. A break above these previous candlesticks here can open the door to these previous highs of 1423. So let's look at the US dollar Japanese yen and we continue to just uh, gradually uh, go sideways. We are slowly going towards the 20 exponential, but that's really slowly. So technical indicators, they are all turning uh, bearish at this point. We are still overbought. We are basically um, probably going to bounce up. The 20 exponential uh, usually when we try it sideways like this uh, we have the 20 exponential coming this way and then it will intersect and then you'll have a bounce to the upside if we were to break below the 20 exponential then we'll uh, the 40 exponential right underneath here at roughly 107 219 that will offer quite a lot of support so let's look at the euro us the us dollar we broke lower today as well we ended only minus, uh, minus uh, 0 0.07%. Um, and uh, at this current stage, we are, well, it looks like going to break down, but it's really difficult to say. So there's a lot of resistance above. We have tested it several times and we just uh, have not managed to break through this resistance line. We have gradually go gone lower in the last few months. And it may well be that we'll go even low towards the 300 moving average before rallying. So, yes, that is basically how this market has behaved. It's basically been in this downward channel and we have not managed to break above the 150 um, the last uh, few uh, weeks. Taking in the good, they are basically all over the place. Um, MACD is uh, flat at this point, but it's underneath zero, so it's very bearish. So we are RSI is uh, also flat, the CCI is flat, stochastic is uh, bullish, and we are basically uh, fallen towards the bottom here of the bullish band. So that's probably where we'll find uh, support if we fall further from here at roughly 11.82. So Aussie dollar, US dollar, not a lot of movement here. We basically ended exactly where we began. So right at the 50 moving average, technical indicators, they are merely flat, all of, the, all of them at this point. So this could drop to the downside where we'll find support at the 100 moving average at 0 0.776. Um, and we could also rally from here and find resistance around this range with these previous highs. If these break, then we can go to 0 0.8. So US dollar, Canadian dollar, we continued this rally, but still we have basically ended up in the same place where we started. Technical indicators, they are all turning around and becoming bullish. And we may see this rally up towards the 50 or even the 100 moving average before this breaks down. So that has been the nature of this. We were in this really nice channel here where we were basically... Um, uh, we were um, rallying towards the 20 exponential. You get it this way. So we were, we were rallying up towards the 20 exponential and then breaking down. And then we broke out of that channel. And since then, it has become fairly more volatile. We have broken up towards 100 moving average, even the 150, and then broken down. But still, we are in this downward channel. At this current stage, it is 
waiting for this to rally to the highs, wait for the stochastic and the other indicators to turn around, and then basically short. That is how this market has been behaving in the past and most likely what will happen also in the future. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.